Finally, and very briefly, I just wanted to address a, a comment by Nizar Half asking about how we can actually get access, how you as a learner can get access to, um, to computers. Well, as I said, this, this course, Supercomputing MOOC, was deliberately non-technical, didn't involve programming. If we'd had programming, we'd had to address that, that challenge of how do you get access to supercomputing resources. But if you want to get access to a supercomputer, I mean, um, you can apply for access to machines. I mean, on Archer, we have a, a program called... Um, uh, called the driving test where you can you can sit a little online test and if you pass it you've read up enough about archer looks the documentation will give you an account for maybe six months um, there are various restrictions on sort of eligibility for that but that is an access scheme but i really wanted to say that the, one of the great things about uh, modern computing is that it's portable and so you can actually write a parallel program on your laptop you could just take your laptop and you can write a parallel program or download a, a test parallel parallel program and run it on your laptop and um, you know, there you would be able to scale and look at the performance of that up to a few cores. Your laptop's probably going to have four or eight cores. However, you know, with cloud computing now, you know, you can go to large cloud providers and, and you can now request quite large machines, a, a single shared memory machine with lots of CPU cores, or even clusters of shared memory machines uh, connected with with reasonably high quality interconnect. And so, although that's going to cost you money, you're going to have to shell out some some money to buy credits on whatever cloud provider service you use. It's actually pretty cost effective and, and gives a very low, low um, barrier to entry. But I would definitely say, if you're interested in running and scaling uh, parallel programs, you know, just do a Google search. You'll find lots of MPI and OpenMP test programs out there, and download them and run them on your laptop um, first. Um, and then you can think about running on a cloud provider. Now, to run them on your laptop, you will probably need to be running a Unix operating system like Linux. However, it's very easy nowadays to, um, you don't have to completely rebuild your machine. If you've got a Windows machine, um, you, can, you can run uh, Linux, uh, something like Ubuntu, in, in a virtual machine again. So if you Google how to do that. So that would be my, you know, my, um, my advice. So it's a very interesting question, but I, I would say, you know, you can get into parallel computing with zero cost by just downloading free compilers and, and, and installing free operating systems like Linux on your laptop. You can run programs, and then if you want to scale out into larger things, you can spend a small amount of money probably and invest in buying some resources in the cloud.